Hi folks, today I'm doing a review and quick setup for Western Digital My Book for Mac users. It's a 3TB. Although it's advertised for Mac owners, it can also be used by Windows users, but you'll need to reformat. I have a MacBook Air and been looking around for a good external hard drive for a week now. And finally, finally decided to go with this one after doing much research. On top of the box is a list of the contents and compatibility information. It comes pre-formatted as HFS Journal for Mac with a 3-year warranty. It also has a super speed 3 USB, which allows you to transfer files faster. On the side of the box is an easy setup guide, getting started. It's all about that plug and play convenience. Okay, so let's begin the unboxing right now. Okay, shortly you notice the My Book for Mac icon comes up in the top right corner. Now a message pops up if you're wanting to back up with the time machine at this time or later. I chose Use as Backup Disk, so you can see the convenience and seamless time machine backup process. Now automatically, time machine message comes up with it on. First time using this as I'm going through this process with you, so I just want to make sure it's on and not off. I decided to check show time machine and menu bar and a clock shows up in the top right side of the menu bar. Here I selected my book for Mac under available disk. Just fiddling around here and wanted to make sure I was correct in doing it. Okay, so it's getting initialized for the uh, backup countdown process. First time it would generally take the longest and it took me about one hour I believe since I used up about 160 gigs approximately. I also want to note the drive wasn't noisy at all when it was in use so I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'm opening Blackmagic Disk Speed Test which is free and you can download it off the internet. I'll add the link in the description box if you don't have it. Here, I'm getting about 300 megs write and 600 megs for read, which is great. Nothing has changed while doing my backup. Earlier I mentioned I was going to provide explanation why I chose Western Digital. Well, I read tons of information at forums and expert reviews on people having defective or longevity issues with certain hard drives like Seagate. I do have a Seagate GoFlex Slim 1TB from two years ago, and really I never had any issues. So my experience with Western Digital was very quick and simple. I definitely give it two thumbs up. In about a week, I'll say I'll be doing another uh, unboxing on Western Digital and showing how to actually partition it for Windows and Mac. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.